Presenting the award is Paul Patrick. Accepting on behalf of the Cranberry Public Library, its director, Marilyn Mullen. because it really almost didn't get made at all. I actually submitted three videos uh, for the particular contest. This is probably the one that I almost didn't submit at all. Um, and I guess the reason was I wasn't so comfortable with the initial story, but the way that it got made finally and the final product that they I'm very happy with. And I really think that it kind of sends a message about how important it is to really think about the stories that we tell and also how we tell them. Um, one final note, um, actually you probably saw it in the last part of the video, that was me with Myrna and Roz working on the computers and Myrna was one with the darker hair. About, oh, maybe about three or four weeks ago she came back into the library. Um, she doesn't need me anymore, she's, she's flying on her own at this point. And um, she actually introduced me to uh, a gentleman that she met on one of the websites, and, and they've been together for a couple of weeks now, so, um, not to say I'm so cool or anything, but it was really nice that she came back and introduced me to her friends, so it was really great. Um, so I'd like to thank State Library as well um, for having this contest, and I think it's really important to tell these stories, and as librarians, to really understand that we do have the ability and the resources to transform lives. And I think if we go to work every day, not thinking about, am I going to answer reference questions, or am I going to catalog a book, but I have the ability to transform my life today, I think that's a really powerful message to be able to send to us. So, thank you very much. Thank you. 